Did you see me put this? <laughs> can't see it. <laughs> oh, just grow, will you? Stop it. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Bill and Caitlin, and we are going to put in, what are we doing today in your wonderful little project? Uh, generator swap to alternator. Yeah. So, so weight reduction. Mission. And your generator, so your generator failed, is that the deal? No. 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 Uh, new engine, time to save a couple pounds. This is a time to do it with the new wiring. Yeah. Plus your, your so, wiring, you're doing all new wiring. 100% right. wire in this airplane. Mm -hmm. So now's the time, everything, every wire. Every I mean, wire. everywhere, magneto wires, all that stuff. So we're going to take this boat anchor of a Delco Remy, and I think this was, what was this, 35 amp? Uh, yeah. 35 amp. Monster 35 amp volts. generator. So we're going to take that off, or it's off. She's got it off. She took it off at overhaul. And then we're going to save, we're going to reuse the, um, the parts here on the front, the uh, gear, the rubber snubbers. We're going to put new ones in, the little cup and all that. But this is Continental parts, the little front end is Continental parts. So we'll reuse this. The rest... Hopefully you can cord out, or if anyone's looking for a 35 amp generator and regulator, um, she's got a big dinosaur regulator. That thing's no, huge. That's the new one. Well, that's, that's, a, that's new a new one. That's for a generator. One. Yes, for a generator. For a generator. So we're going to open this box up. We um, we new. we uh, had Caitlin go and get a plane power. What model is that one? That was a kit, right? Kit. Yeah. Let me get uh, this out of the way. It's the conversion kit, so it's supposed to come with a uh, regulator. Alternator, it's the R14 50. Box opening. So, 15 extra amps. Yeah, so it's, a, it's, a, yeah, it's a 50 amp alternator, 14 volt. Yes. And so it should have should be in this box a regulator, at least a regulator and an alternator. Hopefully, maybe some wiring. Yeah. And this whole box is half the weight of that dinosaur. Of that whole thing. Yeah, so I think that's going to yeah. help. I hope so. Less weight. Let's see what we got. More feet over the end of the runway. Time to open. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Get her done. Yeah. Brown truck jumped it off. Gotta go check it out. And this is uh, Hartzell. Uh, Hartzell picked up plane power. One of the same. We have a card that says Hartzell uh, resources for post purchase assistance. So probably That's instructions. Yep. See what we got in there. Yeah, probably all your paperwork is probably there. Digital. Gotta save money. <laughs> yeah, no paper anymore. Uh, some phone oh. stuff. Let's see. I'm not going to lose anything if I break this. Okay. Form fitted foam. Cool. Good deal. And we're in one. Super. Hey. Uh, let's see what we got. Pull that out. Cool. Alternator. Okay, let's open that up. Yeah. Watch yourself. Maybe a little size comparison. Come on, baby. Watch yourself. Well, you should only use a sharp blade. A few moments later. <laughs> hey, look at that. And we're back. And we're you back. should always change these blades at least once a year. Oh, apparently. Well, okay. That's better for that. <laughs> the zip tie, in case you're wondering what you're yeah. struggling with. It's not much. That's just one of the many things I struggle with. Oh, there we okay. go. We'll see what we got there. Whatever you do, don't drop it. Do not drop it. Right, we're going to move this out of here. Let's close this up a little bit. Okay. Bag. Get rid of that. Uh, hardware. Twisty tie. Twisty tie. Show it untwisty. It's untwisty. 8130 tag. So, for any folks, especially overseas, uh, oh, let me have that. So we have an 8130 tag with the checkout from the uh, manufacturer. All the wonderful numbers. So that's I've cool. Got a bread tie around the safety wire. There okay, we cool. go. So that's it. Gentle. Excellent. So bring the other one back. Yeah, let me bring that back. Set that there. Uh, let me have that. Yeah, this way is, I mean, this is nothing. That's nothing to it. It's nothing at all. And when Very you look light. at it, you've got two hookups. You've got a plug, and then you've got the main power stud here. So that's it. Yeah. And these are, I think these are actually um, Japanese derivative guts and all that. So that's why. Sure. Well, modern car alternators, which those, the one you took off was... Probably. 1946 pickup truck. Let's step over here. Yeah. Probably. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you can see. For whatever it's worth. Yeah. And I forget. We'll do a weight weight check, but yeah. uh, I think you save. That, a, that's probably less than 10 pounds. Yeah. There's nothing to that. Yeah, I think you probably save total insulation, maybe about 10 pounds. So, yeah. okay, let's keep on. Let's keep on with there this stuff. Back to the ground. Hold hands. Put that there. What else there. we got? 
I'm going to put the paperwork in the cabin. Uh, yeah. Got a bag for the paperwork. Bag for the paperwork? So, you know. Good. Clean it. Okay, we, we have... have we have wires. Oh, cool. For terminals. So we have a gasket. This is going on a O2 N O200. 200 alpha. So let's see what you have in here. There. So much for the ziplock. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, okay. So we got we got some things in here. Got some stuff. You have wire terminals. I'm gonna pull this out. Most important thing is you have a gasket. Terminal. Oh, no, there's anything. Uh, is that a terminal? Oh, that's the, uh, that's for the, so you've got a terminal for your control wire. So this will just plug into the alternator. That'll no, plug in. No wire required And that'll go to that your end. regulator. Yep. So we don't, we won't have to splice any ship's wires. It'll all be brand new. Gasket, awesome. if you use this type of gasket, or depending on your engine, that kind of gasket. Now this is real important, is don't just take, don't just take a uh, generator off and then cut the gasket, because on some of your engines, your oil pump idler shaft is right here, and you'll leak oil. So you, if you have a one-piece gasket, change the whole gasket. If you have a, yeah. a, a small gasket like this, then that's, that's where you are, yeah. So Don't cheap out. Yeah. Okay, and then, so we've got that, so that, that, and then we have some terminals in here, and you've got the idiot light, which tells you alternator fail. Yes. So that'll which, be put on the instrument, or on the... Uh, on the instrument panel. On the instrument panel, and alt and up. You also get a placard for alternator field. You've already done that on your switching and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, so maybe use it with the light. Yeah, so we'll cool. use it for light. Cool. Oh, perfect. What Easy. else have you got in the box? I got this. Probably. What are uh, the goodies have we got? Looks like there's more foam in a box. Yay. Uh, paperwork here, paperwork. so let's not lose that. Okay. Box Throw the box away. away. Don't need this, because everything's going on today. Yep. Gone. Now today may consume a day or two, because we may have to get a part or two. Uh, this is the installation instructions. Great. So you do have a paper is copy. It? Yeah. So that's that. Uh, for the regulator. So it does not come with. Okay. So that means we, we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna have to go to the website <laughs> for that. And uh, I think we've already looked at it. On the website has the instructions for container air awareness. It's got the install. It's got the wiring diagram. And the STC. And the STC. And there's also a letter, uh, permission letter. Yes. Right? So Should that's be. all the important yes. stuff that we need. This is only for regulator. This is only Why? for regulator. Well, it's for a replacement. Wait, yeah, well, it's for replacement <laughs> if you're replacing existing regulator. So this should be the regulator. Open it up. Let's that go. number matches that number. Yep. We got Looking it. good. Now the regulator. Uh, box. Foam wrapped. Let's see how small box that is. Away. Oh, geez. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's nothing to it. Yeah. And More it's, paper. It's very similar to the one on my 182. Got one of these. And the 130 tag, so that's important. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yep. And it looks like it's a standard case for 28 or 14, and they just mark your mark yeah. your application. So um, the other thing that's neat too, yeah, you've got all all the which is nice, better than some of the older ones, but everything's all your connections are labeled as to which one is which. Very which is easy. Cool. The other thing that's nice too on this, which mine was not done, um, which they it seems that they've changed. They've changed these holes full size bolt holes. So on yours, you're just going to remove your existing regulator. And go into the the standard Delco Remy two and one, mm -hmm. so this should be nice. So this will go. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing to that. No, we'll compare it to the other one when it comes off. Yeah, cool beans. Cool. So what we do have, we have to accomplish. We've got to take the coupling off the front of that one, yep. and get it transferred over. So wish us luck. Hopefully, we have the parts. Otherwise, we'll have a little pause in the video. But in the meantime, go get the regulator off at least. Yeah. And then we'll uh, I'll dig up parts. See if I can dig up parts for this guy. Cool. Okay. All right, back to work. Yep, back to work. Okay, top screw, three eighths. Yep. Got it. Sorry, yeah, we're gonna touch up the paint. More places than one. Face. <laughs> Don't give me the straight lines. Okay, can you fold the blanket down? What we did is we ended up putting the insulation blanket the way it was after we put, we reinstalled the old regulator. Yeah, I can make that work. Can you make it work? Yep, only okay. one. So now, and we're going to, as soon as we take this off, we're going to put it back on. Yes. And we've got spacers in there, I believe, so. Are you ready? I 
let's do lower your lower right okay hit me Are we going to need a bracket for this? No. Okay. We don't need a bracket. Um, Talk about that. On the 182, we had a very almost a similar regulator uh, that we installed. However, uh, and it's, it was on the aircraft when I inherited it or, or bought it. Um, but it did not have the holes drilled out to quarter inch or whatever size these are. So. I didn't want to go drilling on a uh, vendor's part, so we ended up making an adapter bracket, which just mirrored the holes and uh, adapted it to the right. airframe. Oh. Okay, taking that out. Now I think, yep, we put spacer. We put a spacer, two washers as a spacer, because of the corrugation on the firewall. Yep. No boom, boom. Okay, your bottom left. Do it. And also, the other reason we put the spacers on is up at the top end, there's a row of rivets. So these 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 regulators being all solid state, even this generator relay, this is a uh, I think it's Zeptronics. These are. Uh, Brand new, by the way. Yeah, brand new. For, for sale. Forty bucks. I don't need it. Okay, I'm taking it, the bolt out. You're up. Oh, uh, very close. I got like another turn. I'm trying to play that game where you don't drop the washer behind the blanket. Okay. Boom. One more. I got the washers. Okay, one, two bolts out. Um, but uh, the original Delco mounts had rubber. So this is, what this, this is what this originally had. As a result, it it's, it stood it off of the firewall. Yeah. But because these don't, these are not rubber mounted. Delco was given fits, ended up with the Zeptronics, Zeptronics gave no fits. But you've got a boat anchor of a generator. Well, plus you're going to end up doing the project, I'm trying to keep light. Yeah, so you've got a zero, zero time engine, a zero time starter, zero time magnetos, carburetor. There's no reason not to put this is kind of the time. It hurts a little bit, it hurts the pocketbook. Don't worry about it, you can eat later. And you're old. <laughs> Are you not off? I'm off. Okay. Stand by. You should be free. Don't drop it. I want to get these washers out. Well, yeah. We're going to help. Yep, I got it. There we go. Okay. And we're taking all the junk wire up. Wires Actually, some of the wire is new wire uh, that we yeah. put on. Well, one of them. Yeah, okay. So this goes in the uh, not yet. eBay pile. A to B. Gotta show uh, A to B. Oh yeah, let's show, show the difference. Show the difference. So what we're looking at? How many more inputs? Size wise, what you got? Size wise, we have battery alternator, battery armature field, standard generator. And this one here, we're gonna have ground field, enable aux lamp, and sense. But I think we only use. We're gonna be using the ground field, the enable lamp, I believe. Oh uh, yeah, a couple of them are jumpered over. Yeah, jumpered over. Uh, the other thing too is on this one here, you've got an idiot light. Yes. Which the other other one did not. No, you got a so, surprise. So she's going to have light there. So you've got wiring going back to the cabin. So weight wise, about the same, a little lighter? No, no, no. no. I'd say, say one's a quarter of the weight. No, it's a brick. Hey, look at this. <laughs> I think it's this yeah, yeah, probably a quarter. There's nothing to this. Nothing to it. So it's like it's, 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 it's like an Amex credit card. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, and it's, it's all drilled, so it's nice. Right. It's beautiful. Okay, let me get these bolts on here. And we're going to put this right back. No sense to dawdle. Are you ready to put some hardware in this thing? Yeah. And we're putting this on all with all new hardware. So everything we've uh, been doing on Caitlin's restoration here is all brand new hardware. And the idiot lights on this one are on the side versus. Yeah, we're, in the cockpit. In the cockpit, yeah, where you can't see it in, unless you're running it, which is kind of. So, so yeah, to the. 
If you need one, it works great. It's just yep. a little bit right for my application. Two and three. Okay, I've got them three all set. Oh, this is open. I'm digging this. Hang on, don't don't move anything just yet. Okay, get your uh, washers and nuts on. Top is in situ. This is nice. I'm gonna do my bottom right. Your bottom right. Got it. Right next. And just get them on hand tight for now, and then we'll get the wrench yeah. on. Don't want to drop a washer behind the blanket, then I get to go play fishing. Yep. Again. The other thing is everything we're doing on this restoration is all new hardware. Um, now that's enough. You got it. Um, we're not doing period correct. 1940 was 46. 46. 46. So this is 46. Well, We'd be cool. putting all silver CAD hardware because yellow CAD didn't come out until later into the 50s I think so we're we're making this aircraft to fly but it's going to be very representative there you go you got it okay let me know which one you want to get on let's do the top one. top first so the biggest thing on the hardware is if you're working on your aircraft buy some extra hardware most of the little hardware is very inexpensive Snug. Snug. How's the, how's the bolt Feels good. That's, orientation? Looks good. Hang on just a second. I'm going to do my little belt and suspenders and level the head up so it looks nice and level. Hang on. I'm still going to look at the okay. What's that? Yep. Okay, good. Your bottom right. But if you're doing any kind of maintenance work, have some extra hardware. Your standard uh, A and three, A and four hardware is very inexpensive. Washers, that's stuff you should have in your hangar. Safety wire, of course. Phil, you done? Yep. Good. Bottom left. And then you're set. But don't use rusty old junk hardware, especially do not reuse self-locking nuts ever. Or counter pins. Any of that stuff. It's just the stuff is so inexpensive. You know, these we put brand new bolts on, they're about 12 cents a piece, Good. maybe. Done. Looking sweet. Ready to wire, young lady. Ready to wire. I got one more for the blanket, but yeah. Yeah, okay. So uh, we're going to take a little cutaway. She can work on the wiring. Let me set the camera up here on you. <laughs> and then uh, what, what you can do is get your wires set up for the for that. And let me, while you're doing that, I'm going to change out the coupler nope. on the uh, alternator. Okay. okay. So I'll throw a camera on me, on me too. Yeah. Okay. Cool means. Okay. Here we go. Um, let's. We're gonna pull this gear off of here, and we're using the instructions. Now you printed that off of the uh, computer, right? Interwebs. Interwebs. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna, take, we're gonna take the cotter key out of here. Hopefully, we might actually have to get a little pick. Yeah. Ten seconds later. Okay, we're getting a little pick. This is a crazy sharp pick. Crazy sharp. Okay, my little foot broke off, so that's good. But there's it's such tight quarters here. Okay. Okay. There off. And there's a little piece of counter key. There we go. All the counter keys off. Cool. Then the nut comes off. Check this out. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. Oh, that, was cool. <laughs> that was torque, right? So it's a good thing we're doing an alternator change out, huh? You think? Shocking. Loose, absolutely loose. Finger tight. That's rubbish. Finger tight. Not 180 inch pounds. Uh, yeah, so it's 180 to 220. Okay, so I'm going to set that off here. 
let's start cleaning some of these things. What a disaster. Yeah, so that's the, that's the problem Caitlin's had with this. this uh, everything. Everything. And that's why everything has been under suspicion. So. That's why everything got replaced. Yeah. And these are the rubbers. Now pull those other rubbers out. Yeah. Little shock absorbers. What they're there for is for starting and stopping. And then the um, dampening the piston or combustion inputs pulses to the generator. Yeah. And we will uh, in that, clean these, and then what you can do is a comparison of all the rest of the And we're taking a look. Yeah, part number matches the manual. Cool. Excellent. And now, how do they look compared to the other ones? How do they look? Well, what do you think? Yeah, so let's see. You've got... There's no creases in them and all that. There's no creases. You can see some wear. Yep. Uh, looks like it's a, little, thing a is, little wider. Yeah, cut. now the other thing on these is is important when you're putting these in. is If you look at them, now there's a, there's mold release. That's what this white is when you wipe it off. But what you'll have is you'll have a round corner mm -hmm. uh, and then a, a square corner with a little lip. Mm -hmm. Okay, the round corner, the round corner goes inside here. Okay, so that's it fits the shape. It fits the shape, so it's important to do that. So those two go in the rubbish. Oh. Yeah, but these are. Um, well, and you can see the wear on these too. When you put those two halves in here versus yeah, full size, you end up they're squished. Oh, they're totally squished. Yeah, and then, not, and then you feel they're them. They're not good. Yeah, you feel them, and it's not too good. Uh, so up. And this is not even pliable. At all. It's, it's like carbon. I could probably. There you go. Merry <laughs> <Yeah>. Christmas. <laughs> so so it has a durometer of cobalt. <laughs> so we're putting these. Well. In, we're, yeah, we're putting these in Capital the radius here on the outside on the cup, and then that leaves the radius. In fact, it's probably easier to see on this one here. Well. But you'll have you'll have a radius here and a radius here. So we want the radius on the on the cup here, and then we want the other part of the radius. Where the these two feet go in. Yep. And it's nice and snug. Where before it was. There's a lot of play in there. There's a lot of loose. Yeah, so that should be nice and tight. Yep. So we'll clean this off yeah. and we're inspecting this part for any problems, whatnot, so it all looks good. A little bit of it on the side. Yep. So clean that off. And that looks pretty good. It's just cleaning up pretty good too. Yep. Okay, cool. So this goes on like so. And this has a cutter key, or part of it, yeah, a woodruff key. Boom. So it's on. Yep. Okay, the cup goes on. Goes In fact, on. what you can do is let's put the, there's a spacer bushing here. Give me that. Okay. That one looks beautiful. Put that in the middle of that, and that'll slide down there. It's crazy. Goes That's crazy how rubbish these were. Golly, you're right. Yeah, they're so feels like it feels like wood. This is a nice tight fit too, whereas before it fell out when you pulled yeah. it out. And that's all going to be lubricated with engine oil during operation. So it's all soft. Out. Okay, well, that looks great. Back onto here. Back on. Nut on. We'll get your cutter key set up. Right off. <laughs> so it's it, not a hard process. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it's not supposed to be that easy. Yeah, that's kind of how the panel came out. Okay, so now what we're going to do is hang on to this. I've got a, this is a uh, gear tool that we're using in the magneto shop. I've got this on 180. Got it 180, so bring it up to 180, see how you can do. And don't ever put your gears in a vise, uh, steel jaws or something like that, or vise grips. Um, Protect them. I think so, right? Yep. So the right socket. I mean, I never yeah. used the socket to get it on. Uh, I don't know. Feels a little loose. I don't okay, let's get the next one. I think you're doing the right deal. Let's get the next one now. Next one. There you go. That's Thank money. You. That's money for you. Set me up for failure. <laughs> Always check your tools. I check the torque. <laughs> okay. Got it. Bring up 180.
Okay. Let's see what we're looking like. Checking what are we looking like? Cotter pin alignment's what we're looking for. Yeah. Oh, where's the silly hole? Money. You're there? Yeah. Sweet. I think we're good. Sweet. And if it isn't good, we can take it up to 220. Yeah. Yeah, we lost game one. That's fine. <laughs> Nothing to see here, folks. <laughs> Uh, and check your coffee. Well, this, one here. this is the harder of the two sides by far. I don't think the hole's quite straight. It may not be. I don't the, think it is. The nut, the nut may not plain be. Plain power. The nut may not be going straight either. No, it's. Yeah, who knows? That's plain power's part. Yeah. You want to try this like that's the harder of the two. Unless you can just walk it. Yeah, okay, now I'll set it down. Okay. Don't aim on me. That hurt. Just in time. <laughs> no, that camera that was That was a fresh batty? No. It was. It was at 60 for. Oh, uh, actually, I have that one. Oh, that right there. Easiest part of the job is done. This is in. Three nuts, six washers, that's it. Super easy. Comes into about here, lots of clearance on the back end. Wires situated so they can come up to the regulator. And uh, the old one came out to uh, about here. So yeah. we're saving space, a lot lighter. Okay, and the uh, this one, yeah, this one just has a plug that goes in the back. So that's kind of cool. Yep, one plug on the back uh, right here. Yep. And then main power lug. Main that's power it. lug. And okay. this comes pre-wired, so. Okay, so you've got the alternator on? Yes. And the regulator on. Yep. On to wiring. On to wiring. Almost done. <laughs> the wiring installation was rather straightforward. Caitlin had downloaded the information off of the internet from the Hartzell Plain Power site, so she knew exactly what was going to be included in the kit when it showed up, as far as what the electrical architecture needed to be. Is to integrate into her existing Cessna aircraft. So she kind of had that in her head. She knew that the main power cable, that's the big one you see going across, that was laid into the aircraft that goes to the back of the aircraft on the 120. And then uh, she had some extra lineage when it came out into the engine compartment area to make sure that she could hook it up to the alternator. Then all of the other wires, as far as the wires going back into the cabin those were all addressed she had those set up the indicator wiring and that's one thing that you're not going to see is the indicator wiring which are just two wires going to the instrument panel to a small light not a big deal but she had all those laid in there exclusive of the wires going to the regulator from the alternator the control wire so those came with the plain power kit you can see here she's crimping all these terminations, getting them set up, laying the run in, and then tying everything with tie wraps. Now you'll see a myriad of tie wraps. Those will be replaced with lace tying when we're all done, really kind of dress it up nice. So that's what you're seeing here as she's getting them all various wires knocked out. The two big wires sitting there right in front of her face are the magneto wires and those will be run over to the center of the engine to the magneto. So they're just kind of been pulled out of the way. So they're not going to get collected in that particular bundle. They'll be bundled up as we dress the final magneto installation. So she's getting the control wires. And really there's only three wires going to the regulator. There's two control wires coming from the alternator. Again, some of those go into the cabin, some of those wires go straight to the alternator. So, pretty straightforward. I uh, popped in and out and only, only helped her on uh, ringing a wire or two out at the very end. But short of that, I just left her alone and let her get this thing hooked up. Worked like a champ. I didn't do anything today, actually. Uh... Caitlin did. So, what did you do today? <laughs> well, I finished up the uh, alternator install. Yeah. So, old. What'd you think? It wasn't bad. Yeah. Unboxed it, inventoried. Yep. Everything uh, there. Took the snog off the generator. 
Yep. So the so gear we the yeah we took the, the continental gear per the directions, mm -hmm. and all the directions are in the uh, the plane power kit. Yeah. The Hartzell plane power kit. Yeah. The so, interwebs. So we took that off, transferred it over. Mm -hmm. um, so Cotter, then you had an alternator ready to go. Cotter keyed it. Cotter keyed the it. hardest part. A little bit of a struggle. <laughs> yeah. Long day. Nothing lines up. It never lines up on torque. Ever. Yeah. So you got that. So then the alternator is ready to go in. Boom. Right. Three bolts. Three bolts. And it's actually easier than putting the Delco Remy, the old original one, because mm -hmm. you can actually get to the flange. And it's light. Yeah, it's light. Yeah, there's not like you have to hold up a. So you're cinema. not dropping nuts into the. Yeah. Okay, and then regulator. Other parts. Yes. Regular. Old one off, new one on. And that was literally a five minute job. Yeah, nothing special there. Yeah, in fact, the old one, well, you can pull out the old one there uh, uh, with the dinosaur cables on it. Yeah, see the old big one. moose. And then we also replaced every wire. Yeah. Yeah, so this, point, this plane's getting every wire replaced. Mm -hmm. So, which you did a good job. It looks very good. Uh, thanks. So, appreciate it. you're all wired up. The only thing, well, the additions, the additions you have on this kit is that you have a warning light that goes up to the cockpit. Right. And that's just two wires. Um, there's a field breaker. Right, breaker switch. Which is going to be new to you if you had a stock airplane. Mm -hmm. um, what else? And then it wires through the master switch just like a Cessna. Right. So that's really no difference. That's about it. The only additional item you would purchase are the rubber um, words for Sounds the shaft. The what? The uh, the rubber for the shaft that goes in around the input shaft to the alternator. Oh, you the rubber, yeah, the, the rubber, them, the right? rubber snubbers, yeah, the rubber. I snubbers. got up at four a.m. this morning. It's been a <laughs> yeah. long day. The rubber snubbers. snubbers. Um, in fact, those have to be replaced. Yeah, in fact, we talked about that a little early when we messed with it. You actually broke one. I did. I mean, it, it was, crumbled. It was crumbled, so that thing should have been replaced a couple decades right. ago. And that is not in the kit. Not in the kit, so you're gonna have no. to get that. Um, be careful of which gasket you use. Uh, no big deal, but just make sure you use the proper gasket for the alternator. Um, the only other things that were not in the kit is wire. There are some connectors and lugs, but you're probably going to end up changing wires because your wires are probably going to be crappy. You're probably going to have crappy wires somewhere in your deal. But you not only did you wire the, um, you got the alternator wired up, the regulator wired up, the magnetos wired up, um, pretty much firewall forward, and you were touch time. Five, six hours? Five, six hours. Aircraft was uncowled mm -hmm. for five, six hours right. and uh, access to the bottom. Yeah. So front seat was out. So it's it's pretty pretty straightaway. Anyway, that's putting in a plane power, 50 amp, 14 volt, uh, lightweight alternator, um, which is, I think, going to be great. You'll have good smooth power and more power almost twice what you had before. Yeah. So that's it. What else? That's all I got. Was it fun? Of course. <laughs> Not at all. It's getting warm here in Texas. Yeah, so it's starting to get warm. To we got to get this thing flying. So, <laughs> okay, this is uh, I'm Bill. Caitlin. We're out. Hangarats. Go fly yourself. <laughs>